Let's talk about the filter function. It's another super useful function. Let's dive in and take a look. So I have a table here, just a raw data table. It has a date and a value associated with that date, maybe some sort of counter of web hits or whatever it happens to be. And what we'd like to do is just take a look at grabbing the last 30 days, including today. And that's nice and easy with the filter. So we'll do filter from A4 to B. So we'll include, we won't specify a row for B, that means it'll just go all the way to the bottom of our data set, wherever that is. And the condition is gonna be that we want the date, so A4A, A, so that's column A to be greater than today, but 30 days ago. So we go back 30 days and pick everything up that's more recent than that. And if we take a look, let's just see, let's count how many we have returned back, count numbers 30. And so it's given us the last, the most recent 30 days of data. So from the 6th of October today, all the way back to the 7th of September. But let me lock this so that we can keep using this same one and drop it in here. And this time what we'll do is we'll get rid of that condition. And this time we want to say the values greater than 900. So we'll specify the value column and we'll just say greater than 900. And it's as easy as that. And this is every value now that's over 900. Now, what about values above average? So let's first of all, just calculate the average we have. So from B4 all the way to the bottom of B. So all the values have an average of 506. And so what we'll do is, again, we'll copy, copy in that formula and we'll just get rid of that condition and we'll put a new condition in and we want to say B4 to B is greater than the average of B4 to B. So all I've done is just put the average inside of the filter now and said that that's my condition. And now it just gives me everything that's above 506.7. And you can see there's quite a lot, but they're all greater than, there's one at 508, that's probably the smallest one that's there, all greater than 507. Now we can keep going. What if we wanted even values? It's another little interesting example. So we'll copy this again. And we'll do B4 to B. And what we do this time is we wrap it in the is even function. And then we just hit enter. And this time it gives me all of the even values. So you can see that it drops that 17 there. And similarly, we can just do the same thing for the is odd. So quickly show you that. We'll change that to is odd. Obviously these need to change to, to B, column B there. And this time it just pulls out the odd values. And there we go. So that was pretty easy. Okay, so let's look at how we might do a date filter. That's pretty easy. So we'll do filter again. A4 to A, sorry to B, so we'll include the date there. And the condition is gonna be that we want the month in A to equal three. So we can use the formula month there. A4, put the whole column in, and we want that to equal three, which is the month of March. Hit enter, and there you can see it pulls out the, just the March data for us. And what if we wanted to say, what about March? and greater than 900. So first of all, let's just get back to our March data there. And we can see that there are a few values above 900. So what we do is this is when we use a second condition. And this time the second condition is that B4 to B is greater than 900. We hit enter and then that just gives me back then values in March that are greater than 900. Now, what if we wanted to do two months? We wanted to get data from May and August. So this is not a condition that happens at the same time because in this example here, the condition was it was March and had a value above 900. So they were two values it tested for and only when they were both true at the same time, which there were here, did we return that value. Now, if we wanted to get data back from May and August with the same filter function, that we're never gonna have a value here in the original data that's both, both May and August. It's either May or it's August. So we need to use a different construction. So let's see that in action. So we do filter again a4 to B, and the condition one is that we want the month of A4 to A to equal to five. And let's just check that one. So that gives me the, the May data back. And if I change that to eight, it gives me the August data back. Now, how I do the, the, the or is to use this symbol called the, the plus symbol inside of the filter. So I don't, I don't hit comma to start another 
condition. I'm still in the same condition, but I just have another month column and I make the second one equal to eight. And this condition says it's either May or it's August. And then the last thing I need to do just to make sure this works is I need to just wrap, put parentheses around both of these tests so that they are independent and that the, the formula can pass them correctly as two conditions to test, or rather two logical tests within the same condition. And it's very important to have those parentheses, otherwise we, we, it doesn't work. So I hit enter and then we can see it gets the May data and it gets the August data back. So that's using the plus sign to, to create an all condition inside of your filter. Okay, that's it with filters for this lesson. Thanks folks. Mm -hmm.